Hey guys, let's get started. So this is the after look. And if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, along with those luscious lips and those sexy brows, keep on watching. So I'm going to start with the nude palette and with my eyeshadow brush I'm going to go inside of the nude palette and I am going to take a plum like color and apply that to the top of my lid. I'm going to pat it into my lid so that way the color can stay and last longer. So I'm going to continue patting on more of the color just so it can give my eyes a pop. A little splash of purple love. <laughs> then I'm going to do the same to the other eye and pat more on that eye as well so the eyes can match. And I'm just doing a crazy dance listening to Beyonce. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with a darker color. It's a darker plum and it also has glitter. And I'm just going to blend that in on the outer side of the eye as well as take it into the inner. Blend it in with that pretty light plum color. Give it a nice effect. You guys can't really see the grade of the color. Sorry, lighting problems, but that'll be fixed soon. So I'm just doing the same thing I did to the other eye. Adding that color in on a corner and taking it in and blending it in as well with the light plum color. I also got this palette from Forever 21. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar. My makeup nistas. I'm just making sure that it's even on both sides. As you can see, that little wing is coming in. Making sure you got to blend, blend, blend to make sure that it looks good. So I did my eyeliner off camera. And I'm just going to go in with the Skin Corrector Pro Concealer in the color orange. And I'm going to apply this before I apply my concealer. Just so that way the concealer can come on nice and neat. And the dark circles will not bleed out of the concealer once the concealer gets old. Or once it stays on for a long time. So here we go. I'm just showing you guys the difference. As you can see, you can't see any dark circles anymore. So it's pretty good to use the undertone before you put on a concealer. That'll make your concealer pop and last longer as well. And I'm just adding more. Just so I can make sure that all the dark circles under the eyes are covered. Oh, and I'm just blending it in with a wedge, the end of a wedge. You can use this or you can use a beauty blender or your fingers, whichever one you prefer. Just getting that in there. And if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I did my wing liner, just comment below. And I'll be sure to get that to you. And so I'm coming in with the Fit Maybelline Concealer. So yes, this is exactly the 30 in the color 30 concealer. And I am going to do two upside down triangles. And you guys want to make sure that you get um, a concealer that's two tones lighter than your skin. 
So that way it can highlight the areas you want it to highlight. And I'm also going to add concealer in the front of my, on the front of my forehead as well as down the bridge of my nose because that is where the light will hit you. Wherever you add highlight is where the light will hit. So you want to make sure you're doing this precisely. Sorry guys, getting my tools together. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my concealer, my contour palette, and concealer palette actually, but my contour palette, and I'm going to use the darkest color. Sorry you guys couldn't see the color, but once again, I will list everything that I use in my description box down below. And I'm going to go in with my contour brush, and I'm going to contour those cheeks. And remember guys, contour hides... Highlight brings out. So contour hides what you don't want the world to see, and highlight brings out what you want the world to see. So I'm going to highlight those cheeks. So I'm just contouring the cheeks. Getting that nice and good. Also, I'm doing the bottom of my face as well. Then I'm going to go to the top of my forehead and contour those as well. Doing a little silly dance, dancing to Beyonce, and loving my contour and highlight. <laughs> oh, she's feeling her stuff right now, guys. You gotta excuse her. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna blend out this highlight. And I want you guys to really pay attention to this part and watch this. Watch me blend out this highlight. It's always good to make sure that you blend it so well that you can't see any lines. No harsh lines. Any lines at all. The main purpose is to blend, blend, blend until you don't see any harsh lines. Until that highlight it's blended well in with your skin. And I'm just showing you the difference before I go and blend out the other eye as well. Again, guys, blend, blend, blend. That's the main key to a successful highlighting contour. <laughs> Getting under that eye too. And when you guys are blending under the eye, don't hit your eyes so hard because that is the most sensitive area of your skin so because it's the most sensitive area of your skin you want to pat it like softly that's why i said you guys can use beauty blenders you can use wedges or you can use your fingers brushes i would not recommend but definitely those three are the main that you guys want to use if you want to blend out successfully your highlight and I'm just going back in with that LA Pro Concealer in the color orange. It is a skin corrector. Just correcting some more of my skin. And blending that out as well. Blending is the key, ladies. Blending is the key. Now she's really feeling herself. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and blend out my highlight at the front of my forehead. Make sure I get that in real nice and good. <laughs> this is why it's called beat your face, ladies, because you're literally beating your face. <laughs> and I'm going down the bridge of my nose as well. Blending out that highlight so that light can hit me everywhere I highlight it. And I'm dancing again, getting crunk. <laughs> Listening to crunk music while doing my makeup. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some translucent powder under my eyes. With a wedge. Now, I recommend to use a wedge for this one, so that way you guys 
can get like a clear, 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 clear way on how to do the highlight. And then I'm going in with my brush. And with this brush, I am going to blend out that contour. Blend it out, girl. Face looking slimmer already. Mission accomplished. So I'm going to do the other side as well. And that eyeliner, yes. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how I achieve that eyeliner look, comment down below. And I will be sure to get that to you. So as you can see, this face is coming along to be pretty beats. <laughs> so just blending that out, making sure the lines blend in and there are no harsh lines. And I'm also going to blend in my forehead contour as well. You contour your forehead if you have a big forehead. You contour it coming down if you have a big forehead to slim down your forehead. If your forehead is kind of small, you will contour more closer to your hairline to bring forth your forehead. And then I am going to go into my same palette that I use to contour my cheeks and contour my nose. You contour your nose to get a slimmer nose. And this you can as well blend out with a beauty blender or a wedge, but I chose my fingers this time. I like the result I get when I use my finger. And then I just brung them together with the wedge. So now it's time for my luscious lips. And I lined my lips off camera. And I'm going to add a plum, a dark plum color. Making sure I get that in there nice and good. So even them lips out. Making sure the top and the bottom are equally plum luscious. <laughs> Add in a little more. And that's the finished look. So there you have it, guys. The finished look. Plum lips, sexy eyebrows, and eyeliner that kills. So if you guys want to see how I achieve those sexy, sexy brows... <laughs> Comment down below and I will do a tutorial on eyebrows only. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.